All right. Last night at Heinz Field, Pitt beat Notre Dame 27-22. I'm not surprised at all. Um, I've come to when trying to think of before a game, which team's going to win the game. Whichever team has the best offensive and defensive line, whoever wins the battle in the trenches is generally the team that's going to win. I thought Pitt had a better offensive line than Navy had defense. Notre Dame had defensive line. I thought Pitt's defensive line was better than Notre Dame's offensive line. And so, Pitt wins. Very nice. Um, the game was a little closer than I anticipate. I thought than should have been simply because, I mean, Notre Dame for their lack of talent in the trenches does have does have some talented players. Clawson's very talented. Golden Tate's very talented. Michael Floyd's very talented. And especially after Pitt lost its two, its top two cornerbacks on the one side due to injury, they were able to exploit that a lot more. The injury to Aaron Berry is very concerning to me, by the way. Very concerning. It's the same shoulder as he injured before, and... I don't know. Nobody. It, it looked pretty bad. That's the word on the street. So he might not be back this year, and that would be really rough given Pitt's last two opponents. But I mean, a lot of people are surprised with just how talented Pitt is. I'm not. Of course, I've been watching them all year. Um, Pitt's great on the lines. Lots of talent on offense. Just not that surprising. I mean, Stoll played a good game. Lewis played a good game. Ray Graham played a good game. The safety for Notre Dame did not play a good game. The way he just kept getting broken down on the long pit runs that Lewis and Graham had. Um, Baldwin, good game. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, Pitt's nine and one. That's the biggest thing that's coming from, out of this game, in my opinion. Pitt is nine and freaking one. Steelers aren't going to be nine and one this year. That's for sure. Um, it's a good win. It's an important win because everybody across the country got to see it. That's the reason it's important. I mean, from a personal standpoint, the game against Cincinnati is going to be is more important than this one's because it's going to involve as the winner goes to the BCS. The West Virginia game is more important because it's the backyard brawl. But this was an important game, so everybody in the country could see Pitt and see that Pitt is for real. I mean. Pitt prob as I said, Pitt should have beat them more, but Notre Dame made great plays at the end of the game. Get back into it. Oh, and by the way, the um, fumble in the fourth quarter that Notre Dame had, it wasn't a fumble. It was an incomplete pass. They should have had it fourth and 16. Good luck. Um, But yeah, that... It was a bad play by the... Bad call by the replay official. But still, things are very good this morning. Pit won yesterday. So, now it's time. You have a bye week this weekend. Yeah, don't like bye weekends. And the following Friday, it's off to Morgantown. Fun, fun. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.